angles to just survive uh, doorstop even at one point SD trying to kill him with water gun yeah. so in, in those final moments in that one interaction he forced with just a jab he's like I have to lock in I have to do something I have not done yet and I have to make absolutely sure you never get back on the stage because you have a lot of momentum right now I would just like to say that I said he should use Ivy down air instead of going out there with the uh, the neutral bees so you're welcome coaching for sure <laughs> definitely <laughs> definitely some some uh, inside coaching from both of my Cincinnati Fear homies. But now we got Big Dro. We got Big Droshi, Droshi Dora coming back to the stage uh, for Losers Finals. Uh, really has been playing really hot all night. Played amazing in winter semis. Uh, had some really cool, intricate responses to like Pac Man items, like with the bell and uh, like the cherry and stuff. Like he really yeah. definitely knows his stuff. Uh, let's see if uh, Doorstop can take this with these. Uh, Switching back to Zero Suit. Uh, again, Yoshi is another character where, or Zero Suit and Yoshi is another matchup where, like, Zare is going to control a lot of airspace. If Dro can get around it, he can get a lot of mileage, but he's definitely going to have to, like, kind of work for it. He's not going to be able to just, like, jump freely towards him. Yeah, so Zare's going to do a great job, like you said, with the airspace. We see a lot of jumps from Yoshi, but I think another thing is that ZSS lands on top of Yoshi a lot, so at kill percents, we do have to watch out for the up smash out of shield. Um, and we've seen that Dro is very consistent with hitting that, especially in the uh, the previous set against Isaiah, so do have to be careful there. And he played against uh, Danny as well. Mm -hmm. All right, Dro coming in with the falling neutral air. Great way to start some combos, but Zero Suit is very good about getting out of disadvantage, much like Yoshi, so I'm not sure if this will be as combo heavy as we normally see. It's definitely gonna be a little bit more niche, but either way, Dro doing some really good job forcing these uh, tech chases, being really patient and punishing with jab. Uh, he's really got uh, a great game plan going. Okay, Narada Shield going to be a great get off me option here for Yoshi. Just choosing to play super patient mm -hmm. around that down smash makes sense. If you do get hit by that, it's going to confirm into up and will definitely kill at this percent. Okay, Dorsav just trying to reset the space, trying to use the landing there through the platform. Ooh. Ooh, nice read with the roll there with the up air. Yeah, doorstop just hanging on for dear life. Not in a terrible position. Did take Dro's jump, but losing the air-to-air -air exchange against Yoshi up up air is definitely going to go in his favor. But doorstop firing right back and evening it up. Yeah, nice bread and butter there with the Zare in the back air. You'll also see a lot of fair one in the back air. It's going to be really important to hit those confirms against Yoshi just because of the way that he is in the air. It's not super consistent to find a lot of like the uh, the normal kill confirms that you would see from ZSS. So you do have to use a lot of these pokes into back air. Right, and speaking of back here, this exact spacing is really Ooh. good for him. Are we seeing a boost kick? Yes, reverses it even to try to like mix up the DI a little bit. Joshi's pretty heavy, so Joe's gonna live that, but that was a great, great big amount of damage. Ooh, and not hitting the ground just yet, Ooh. so that flip jump is not going to bury. Joe holding onto his stock for a little bit longer here, but that one is able to confirm into the upbeat, it. and that's gonna be that stock. Yep, right in his big old nose. Doorstop able to. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm very slap happy, you guys. <laughs> Yoshi's nose. Yoshi got yeah, a big I ass know. nose. Well, he can't he help it. Deserve that. That's fine. I mean, he can go see Dr. Miami. I don't know. Either way, um, <laughs> Dro, <laughs> Dro is really putting out a lot of great hitboxes, though, especially with that back air. I think Zare is just a little bit better at controlling that space, so he's got to really fight for it. But I love that every time he's in a scramble situation, he kind of throws that up air out. Very deceptively large hitbox, especially horizontally, and it's definitely caught doorstop off a lot in this first game. Okay. Really good grabs here. We've seen that doorstop's grabs in this top eight have been very good. Just able to uh, recognize when his opponent is going to be shielding, especially when he's in these situations where he's using Zara over and over. The best counterplay to that is going to be to shield it. So he just, instead of Zaring just runs up and grabs with the dash grab, but it is a very laggy grab, and we can definitely see a kill from Dro off of it if Doorstop does whiff. For sure, and Dro trying to cover the jump with the forward air, not able to find it just yet. I like the way that Dro is trying to control space, especially like he always has something out just in case Doorstop decides to flip jump or, uh, you know, double jump really high. Mm -hmm. uh, so he definitely like knows the angles he needs to cover, but yet another berry from off stage. And Dro is unfortunately going to go down to that two stock. So we know that Dorsop has Yoshi experience because he did play Danny Phantasm um, to make it out of pools yesterday. But Dropping that, the game, though. That was game three. Mm -hmm. So uh, it seems like it would be a pretty dominating matchup for ZSS. But it is a little weird just in the way that the, the double jump armor works as well. Um, a lot of the time, you can get some crazy reversals in the air. And that yeah. is not what D ZSS is 
very happy about that up air can be a, a huge problem for her too, um, just because she loves to operate in that airspace in between the two platforms. So if you're able to just pop up there with the up air, that can be a very early stock. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, oh, especially okay. in a place like Battlefield. This is a very volatile stage, I would say, for both characters. So I'm sure we're going to see something really explosive because the platform extensions they get here are going to be disgusting. Okay. I'm not going to lie, they got the top plat at 30%. I'm like, one of these people might die right now. <laughs> Surely one of them might die. Ah! Okay, using that up tilt going to be a very fast move as a get off me whenever Yoshi's landing on top of ZSS. So we'll probably see that a lot in this set. But I really like that spacing on the fair there. It's going to, uh, we've seen that Dro has been very consistent at hitting the fairs at the ledge too. So you do have to be careful. Although ZSS does have a lot of recovery options. If you catch her out of her flip jump or out of her double jump, it makes it very telegraphed the way that she's going to recover. Yeah, like her recovery feels so good until something happens. I was like, oh, this is actually really exploitable from this position. But another Zare to bear. It's such a crazy thing that that's just so good in her kit because like Zare has so much horizontal range and back air is just so freaking strong. She just has like such a huge threat range. Like I would say from the edge of the platform all the way to the ledge, it's just kind of a you can't be here zone where Zare's can just kill you at shockingly early percents. Do you have to be careful here? He's looking for that Nair, could find uh -oh. a Nair flip kick, but able to find the up air, up air, up B instead. That ladder really clutch, not gonna kill, but just able to go up there and fish with the back air instead. Well, you, sometimes you gamble big and sometimes you gamble big and you lose. Like, this stage obviously could be really good for Yoshi, but Doorstop is for sure taking more advantage of it. That aside, the drag down back air to F Smash, that is a true combo. Zero Suit not the heaviest, and boy oh boy is that Yoshi F Smash strong. Very strong move for sure. Oh, okay, Dro fighting back. Fighting some pretty, finding some pretty good combos here. Not to the extent that we've seen from Doorstop, but definitely getting some good damage. Oh, oh, doesn't get the spike. Okay, but still just using these up airs, not letting Dro land, able to air dodge through the grab instead. And now this is Dro's advantage, holding down the center and just not letting uh, Doorstop really get in, but using an F smash there instead. Yeah, definitely they just didn't want to stale anything. I think what's happened is that Dro's lived two different boost kicks just from being, you know, pretty heavy. So Doorstop is just being really cognizant about like throwing it out just to make sure it doesn't get too stale. Ooh, Ooh okay. Excellent forward air from Dro. I really love that Nair going out, recognizing that Doorstop would have to jump there, just barely misspaces it, not able to find the kill with it, but really good uh, recognition of ZSS's resources off stage. All right, using that egg to stay safe at the ledge has been pretty solid for Dro. Uh, and that double jump armor gonna prevent him from getting set up for a bear with that Zare, but he is way down right now, and Doorstop finally taking a breather to just slow the pace down and just look for something to whiff punish from Dro. We are in up throw percents too, so definitely tries to go for it there. Gonna die to an up air as a punish, but yeah, side B, up throw, back air, all of these moves are gonna kill, so do have to be super careful here if you're Dro, but it seems like he's still playing super aggressive, just has to find one opening, and we've seen that he can get these reversals, high damage output um, on his combos, and then just uh, an up smash with Rage could mm. be it. But yeah, that's there in the back air, super consistent with those in this set so far. And Jero even just popping off a little bit. I think I saw him mouth in the camera, just good stuff. Like he's just, you know, he's here for a good time. And he was playing around a lot of options really well, but Zare is just so smothering for a character that has to approach with float. Like we saw something similar back when Dorsop fought Mudace. Like he ended up uh, beating Mudace that time. It was a low tier, low tier city. Yep. Um, Cause like Peach gets so many crazy options from floating above you, but like Zare is just, you just can't be in the zone. And um, Dro, as good as he is at getting that damage from like a falling dare or an air or whatever, he still has to take the risk of interfering with Zare, so. And he still has to take that space. Yeah, Which yeah. is so hard against, uh, against Zare. Okay, I do like this stage, but I think that so far it's been benefiting Doorstop a lot more. Just able to get those tech chases on the platforms with up air. Mm -hmm. And you have to be super careful. We haven't seen a, a ladder kill yet, but even so, it's just a ton of damage that you have to worry about. Yeah, it's just something you got to keep added to the mental stack here. Now, on the top platform, we can definitely see some shenanigans, but yeah, Doorstop's used the stage a little bit better. There was a position where, oh, that was crazy. Yeah. Not going to kill Yoshi is a thick boy. Yeah, that's a, a rough situation there. You could try to go for the uh, flip jump spike instead, but uh, chooses to go for the, the boost kick. It's plenty of damage, even if you're not able to get the kill. But that one will that definitely one will, kill yeah. center stage there out of shield. Yeah, Dro still keeping this really competitive though. Uh, got zero suit at 80%, and that egg <laughs> is being like, you grabbed who? No, well, not me. No, uh. Have breakfast. <laughs> All right, you can see that Dro's using a lot of. Um, he's like facing 
the opposite of the ledge, and he's trying to use that uh, drag down back air into F smash. Oh, great Ooh. parry. Not close enough to get the up smash punish, but definitely going to keep your stop on notice. Like, all these airs aren't going to give you everything. And that up tilt is so deceptively large. Catching her in the corner, confirming to a great kill from Dro. Wow, the range on that move is scary. Okay, love that use of fair there in that disadvantage situation. Um, the frame one of ZSS fair has like a her box shift back, so uh -huh. she's allowed to avoid um, a lot of the uh, the aerials that Yoshi's throwing out, and it's going to be a great disadvantage tool for doorstop. All right, Dro, once again, throwing them eggs, just egging his house, trying to get back here, but sadly going to go down to that side B. It's a tricky move to the eye just because I, I, you know, she has a version that sends you up and a version that sends you out. I don't think Dro di it poorly, but I guess he was just high enough of a percent to die to it. A lot of the time you're going to see doorstop use the version that sends up where you just... Uh, you hold it instead mm -hmm. um, when he sees that they're already shielding. Uh-oh. Ooh. Uh-oh. So if they're shielding it, oh Jeez. my gosh. Yeah, just crazy, crazy gameplay there. Just not letting Joe get back to, to the ledge, especially when you're such a floaty character that doesn't have a conventional up B. Uh, 